I can't make it out what it was, but I, I'm familiar with these sounds, and we both are getting more familiar. But we're near the river system, that's... Let me see if I can zoom a little bit more. This is, a, this is a nice little tranquil spot right here. Unless it goes up through this one. We're on the edge of that swamp. Yeah. Game trail. Look at this. Right there. Straight right there. Right through here? Mm hmm. Maybe it was the wind. And it wasn't you because you're behind me. Really? You heard it to the front? I heard it towards the front right up in that area. So let's go up Let's there. go there then. Okay. And the mosquitoes are still out, hung that's game. for sure. Oh, hung game, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, watch for gators. It's cold. The water's cold. They're, they're hibernating a little bit. I wasn't afraid of slipping. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I do need to go back over there again. Catch you going in the water. Four foot, four foot high, and you think yeah, how easily. much water? Because if that water is that high, it floods this whole plain. Yep. That's a huge volume of water. Oh, you made it. Uh, <laughs> it moved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it wasn't working with me. <laughs> uh, you were brave because there's no telling how deep that is right there. It would have made a good video if I cut. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it would have. You would have had to put it online. Brave Squatch Hunter falls into the water. <laughs> wow, this goes to it's show you. It's very old. I'm touching. This is very old. I'm touching a tree that's very old. It's probably way older than I am. This gives you the size of the scale. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. This tree is massive. And cypress trees, I believe they grow, I think they grow incredibly slow too. Yeah. I don't want to get bit by a freaking snake or something. Something coming out. This area is 100% creepy. Yeah. And I, I I haven't been out at night. I I want to come out here at night. Chris. And this is where we got we that. Got, we this is where we got that this. monstrous howl too. Yeah, it's where we got the howl. Was up in that up towards that way a little bit. I um, I like the water system. It's uh, I like the edge edging of it. And we notice the snails. We see the snails all the time. The snails are, uh, uh, all you see is the shell. The snail is all gone. And we see this all, all the time. And I don't know if, they, if they're being eaten by, you know, natural, the natural critters and stuff out here, but the shells are always missing all the time. Or the uh, snail, I mean. See, this is what we're saying. I don't know. I guess they're, they're maybe they're eaten by regular, you know, wildlife. I don't know, but we see this very typical in the areas that we go to. The uh, uh, the snails uh, seem to be all missing. I would think of a hog at that. He just eat it. Yeah, <laughs> and crush uh, it, crush it, and stuff yeah, like that. I, but I we see the snails. They're they're always missing. 
No worries up there. Now, maybe they die naturally and wash up on shore. I don't know. I don't know. But don't know if raccoons are getting them or not. Raccoons might get them. I don't know. I can't tell you. I don't see any footprints in this area, so who knows. No. Alright. Something has probably killed a crane, what looks like maybe a crane. But um, all the feathers are in one spot. And the the funny thing is is that this is a uh, it's a uh, little round little round spot and it's all this is high ground right here. Nice little round spot of high ground. 